speaking to you now as a friend and as your king. I wonder if I might prevail upon you to assist me with some other matters. One that is a matter of state, and another that is of a more personal nature. Rivenspire is the real problem. The quibbling between the noble houses there seems to have turned bloody. I would send you with my authority to try to restore order. I will join you when I can. And then there's the personal matter. That damn guillotine. For reasons you might recall, I want it demolished. I've given the order to Captain Ernell, but on your way out of Wayrest, I would ask that you ensure it's being done thoroughly. Your help with both these matters is much appreciated. Until that damn guillotine's been dismantled, I won't be able to sleep. And more importantly, until the matter in Rivenspire is resolved, the Covenant will be severely weakened. Honestly, I deserve some of the blame for Rivenspire's troubles myself. After Ranser's war, I didn't trust any of the nobles enough to give them the throne, so I appointed three houses to share rule of the kingdom. Seemed like a smart strategy. So it seems, Morea actually counseled me to appoint a single ruler in Rivenspire more than a year ago. I should have listened, but after the mess with Ranser, there's something about nearly having my head on a pike that's hard to forget. Well, yes. My decision to marry Morea instead of King Ransa's daughter really stuck in the man's craw. He had Wayrest surrounded at one point. I remember I even dreamt about my head on a pike. Of course, as you know, I've had worse nightmares. you return from Gavadon with another feather in your cap. Defeating the Iron Hand Ogres. Wish I could claim such an accomplishment. Frankly, it's an honor to know you. Is there anything you need from me? Why, yes, of course, yes. Take it down and burn it. The king told me this was of the highest priority. I'll admit, I thought he was joking, but I assume he wouldn't have sent you if that was the case. We'll redouble our efforts. So now we have to take the whole thing down? I wish the king would make up his mind. I guess there aren't any supernal dreamers left to execute. I heard some hero type wiped out every camp in Stormhaven. I wish I was off adventuring.
can be good. What do we have here? I think I see a fellow lover of adventure. And I'm betting it's no accident that you're headed this way. Am I right? Have Rivenspire's troubles become your troubles too? Ha! <laughs> Easier said than done, I'm afraid. But I'm glad to hear Emric gives a damn. We thought maybe our dispatches weren't getting through. I was about to walk to Wayrest myself, but you saved me that trouble. And I suspect you can help me further. If you haven't noticed, Rivenspire's caught up in a civil war as bloody as old Ranser's rebellion. This time it's Baron Montclair. He's apparently decided he'll be the King of Shornhelm, whether the rest of the noble houses like it or not. Sure did. The bastard bribed the city guard, attacked the other nobles, and seized half of Shornhelm. Now Montclair's troops are all over, and the Shornhelm guard's getting its buttocks kicked. So? Wanna help me save the kingdom? Think of the glory. It'll be just like Ronser's War. We'll rescue Rivenspire and the women will swoon. It'll be great, you'll see. Go on to Shornhelm's chapel and tell Countess Tamrith I recruited you to the cause. I'll be along as soon as I can. What makes tyrants do any of the things they do? Ambition? Glory? I certainly don't know. What I do know is that Monclair's forces have taken half the capital, and will soon take the rest of it unless the Shornhelm guard gets some help. It was quite the talk of Tamriel at the time. Surprised you don't know about it. It was over ten years ago, our beloved High King insulted King Ranser of Shornhelm over some minor indiscretion. Ranser reacted poorly and declared war on Wayrest. If you can call it that, lasted about a year. Just long enough for Emric's troops to get a little exercise. When it was over, Ranser was dead and peace was restored to the kingdom. The triumvirate of nobles has been running Rivenspire ever since. A little of this, a little of that. Lending my sword to just causes, flirting with the ladies. I've drank in every inn and tavern between here and Glenumbra. And I beat my friend Scordo at cards every chance I get. It's great to see you again. Baron Wyland Montclair. Not much to say, really. Before this, he shared rule with two other noble houses, Dorel and Tamrith. Countess Tamrith says they were never very close, but... She certainly wasn't expecting him to start a war. She's the head of one of the noble houses, young, but smart, and very devout. I'm told she studied in Stormhaven, and has Emmerich's favor. She's not unattractive, either. But she is my current employer, so I try not to notice. Please, you must help me. You sent the guard west to chase a rumor? 
We need those troops to protect Shornhelm. Only some of them, Baron. My father would have done the same. Captain Genevi will discover the truth and report back. Countess, Baron, please. We must remain focused. As long as Montclair controls the other city, the whole region remains at risk. How can we trust you, Count Ravenwatch? Your friendship with Montclair is well known. What did you offer those captains to betray us? I care for the Count even less than you, Baron, but he hasn't done anything to warrant such accusations. Yet. We must end this debate and take action. Make an example of the two traitors and retake the upper city. How can the two of you not see that? I do not disagree, Baron, but we need to proceed with caution. There is more to this situation than meets the eye. I know I make you both nervous. Perhaps we should continue this after our blood has cooled? Mind your tempers, gentlemen. We have a visitor. Come forward, friend, and state your business. Bah! You both try my patience. I can almost understand what drove Montclair to abandon our triumvirate. I returned to Shorenhelm after my father's death to find a city divided and our land in peril. Baron Dorel means well, but he'd rather rush forward than take a moment to examine the path ahead. But what brings you to Rivenspire, friend? Of course, the light provides as always. Baron Montclair is... changed. We need to find out what has driven him to this perilous course of action. A letter? A journal? We need something to give us more insight into why he has betrayed us. Two Shornhelm guard officers. They defected to Montclair's side and helped him take over the upper city. Look for Orlazog Gryarzal and Juberic Gain. Perhaps you can deal with these traitors and discover Montclair's motivations. Baron Dorel can tell you more. Ambitious? I suppose he was no more or less so than any house noble. My father never liked the man, though. But to change so drastically? To put innocent people in harm's way? I pray for the wisdom to understand our foe. House Ravenwatch is an old Rivenspire family. As for Verandis, I do not like the man. Be that as it may, and despite his long friendship with Montclair, the Count seems genuine in his willingness to help. He cares deeply about our people. The Baron sees me as a child, and I find him to be a pompous ass. Light grant me patience. I know that he wants to appear strong, in control, but we need to peer into the shadows and determine what has led to Montclair's bold actions. I suppose he hopes we will surrender and agree to his terms, but that's not going to happen. Neither House Tamrith nor House Dorel will give in to such outrageous demands. And I know the High King won't allow such treachery to go unpunished. Find those traitors and make them pay. Let's show everyone what it means to betray the city of Shornhelm. Situation? What's to tell? Baron Montclair betrayed all of Shornhelm and has taken over half the city. People have been killed or injured, property destroyed. And now Montclair has demanded that we surrender and crown him King of Rivenspire. Now you sound like the Countess. Who cares why he wants to be King? The only thing that matters is that we stop him before he takes over all of Shornhelm. The man is a cad and a coward. I will never bend my knee to him. Never! I don't know what Montclair promised them, but we can't let such disloyalty go unpunished. We must show resolve in this matter. We must deal harshly with these traitors. They'll be in the upper city, probably in the barracks or Montclair Manor. She's young and inexperienced. She hesitates, turns to prayer instead of her own good sense. A ruler has to think and act, not pray to bloody RK for every little thing. If we hesitate in this, we'll surely lose everything we hold dear.
it up!
Did those fools Dorel and Tamrith send you? Let me show you the power I've gained since joining House Montclair. You there, a little help here. Damn Montclair bastards caught me snooping around. If you unlock this cage, I'll be your best friend for life. I needed some quiet time. What do you think I'm doing in here? I went and got myself captured. I'm one of the Shornhelm Guard. Look, let me out of this cell, and I can help you. Good question. You shouldn't. But that doesn't mean we're not on the same side. I bet they sent you to find information about Montclair. Open the cell and I'll tell you what I know. I hate being caged. Makes me all... itchy. Anyway, Orlozog shoved a letter in that chest over there. It explains a lot. I appreciate the help. You're all right in my book. Now I need to report back to Baron Dorel.
What news do you bring from the upper city? Have the traitors been dealt with? Damn. Montclair's Argonian is as crazy as an outhouse skeever. His soldiers kidnapped a few nobles, grabbed them in broad daylight. Probably hopes to use them as insurance against us. But he must realize that I never negotiate with terrorists. Then we have to act fast. Go to the Muse and free Lady Aureen Tamrith, Nithen Albergama, and Sir Estian Gillen. If you can take out Rizal Jewel along the way, all the better. In the meantime, we'll mobilize the Shornhelm Guard and retake the upper city. This Rizal Jewel seized nobles. Such brazen acts must not be tolerated, Baron. How can we walk in the light if we leave innocent townsfolk to languish? Wait, are you agreeing with me? Don't look so shocked, Aselde. It was bound to happen eventually. My friend will go to the Muse to free the hostages and stop the reinforcements while we assault the upper city. A two-pronged approach. Well, all right then. Baron, if you would, give the command and rally the Shornhelm Guard. It will be my pleasure. It's time to show those Montclair cowards what it means to betray the people of Rivenspire. One moment, friend. I may know something about the Fevered Muse. The Fevered Muse? I haven't thought about that place since I was a child. It's a ravine beyond the Upper City. It's been sealed off for years. They used to send the ill and infirm there. Those afflicted with the plague, Khajiit fever, Argonian leprosy, things like that. But that was a long time ago. It's a dank old place. Oh, I remember now. The sewers. You can sneak through the old sewer tunnel. It leads to right near the entrance of the fevered muse. The ravine is riddled with small caves, as I recall. There's an even older section, an ancient ruin. If this Argonian is using a portal to bring reinforcements into the city, I suspect those ruins would make a proper staging ground. Not so fast, my friend. You don't have to deal with this on your own. that I wouldn't be left to that... that lizard's tortures. They poked and prodded me. I'm of House Tamarith. How dare they? Ambassador from Malik here. Did I mention that? Baron Montclair and his Argonian general, Rieseljewel, attacked the nobles of Shornhelm. This is an outrage. <laughs> Oh, 
Argonian, Rizal Jewel, said he would turn me into a powerful creature. Why would I want that? Ah, sweet freedom. Thank you so much for coming to my rescue. I suspected Riza. I'm surprised Baron Dorel didn't accompany you here. He's never been one to shy away from getting his hands bloody in defense of house and country. Shornhelm's stability affects all of Rivenspire. If Montclair and his allies take over the city, I fear all of Rivenspire would soon fall. And then they would look beyond our borders. He's always fancied himself the true heir to Rance's throne. I usually leave politics to the other nobles. I prefer to deal quietly with more unusual problems. As for the why of things, call it an obligation. But now is not the time to discuss the past. close by. We need to close it before we're overrun by more Montclair soldiers. I should be able to close the portal. It won't take me more than a few seconds. There. That should keep them out. Shornhelm will be safe now. I shall begin my research at once. Try to determine where Riz el Jewel has gone. In the meantime, you should seek out the High King. With the portal closed, we stopped Rizal Jewel from sneaking more Montclair troops into the city. It is frustrating, though, that Rizal Jewel slipped away. That Argonian is sly and cowardly. 
No. And that's what worries me. He must be tracked down and dealt with swiftly. Thanks to your efforts, though, Montclair's plan to take control of Shornhelm has been stopped. You should inform High King Emmerich and the other nobles. According to my sources, he was close before I entered the Muse. I have no doubt that the Shornhelm Guard has reclaimed the Upper City. I assume Dorel, Tamrith, and the High King are even now in Shornhelm Castle. Give Emmerich my regards. Here we have the savior of Shornhelm, I presume. You should know that Baron Dorel and Countess Tamrith have been quite generous in their praise of you. I trust you were able to close this portal Montclair was using to bring in reinforcements? I'm not surprised. Verandus and I go back many years. He has a habit of making people nervous, but I've been trying to reassure Baron Dorel and Countess Tamrith he is loyal to the people of Rivenspire. Did you also defeat this Rizal Jewel? Hmm. Then I suppose we'll have to track him down, he and Montclair both. I fear Montclair's ambitions may be far greater than simply conquering all of Rivenspire. It's better we stop him now. Thanks to you, we have an excellent start here in Shornhelm, and I will devote my resources to fortifying the city as quickly as possible. We're secure here now, and we have to ensure it remains that way. Shornhelm may be 